Well, this ain't rocket science. Got an exhaust fan here. A couple fryers and a grill inside. One of the nicest golf courses in Maryland. Nice pool in here. A couple hundred people coming for a cookout. Tomorrow is opening day, right? Well, it's the weekend. This is a C-frame motor. These wheels can be real tough to get off. Uh, we're going to tighten it all back up again because uh, it's the weekend. Granger's not going to open up for us. They will, but they probably don't have the motor in stock. It ain't going to do you no good if you can't get the wheel off. So uh, I just tried a little something else first. All right. These wheels can be real tough to get off. Now, you can go through a couple different kinds of pullers and all kind of other stuff. Hang on. So when the motor tries to start, it goes about a partial revolution and then the fan stops. That is obviously a bad bearing in the motor. Uh, one of the ways to get this shaft out is to take the back of the motor off. Now you can knock on that shaft. It's an aluminum wheel. You got to be careful with it. There's 15 ways to do it and a thousand ways to mess it up. Uh, it'll come off. But I think we're lucky on this one right here. This back bearing was all dried out and seized up. Now I hit her real good with some WD. I got her all slung around and spinning. This bearing was froze. Okay. I'm going ahead and just drop a little bit of this heavier grease in there. Just a, uh, all right. Let's pack this around on here. Get some good grease down in that bearing. Grease is a little heavy. But the bearing was froze up. So now, so you can put that thrust washer back in the right position. And it's a little worn from that bad bearing. These motor studs back in. Now, nobody does this, right? It's Saturday. For 150 bucks, we can get Granger to open up. The problem is, this is a C-frame motor. And they are not normally in stock. So we're going to open that store up just for them to tell us that they'll order us one. And have it on Tuesday, because Monday is Memorial Day. Very good customer. They don't cut corners. They don't ask you, can we do it another way? They don't ask you, is there a cheaper way? They say, we need it. They say, we need you. Do what you can. And we stick with you year after year. And it is important. The check comes on time. Everybody does that. 
treat everybody the same. But normally this is going to be, I'm sorry, you got a bad exhaust motor. And what order you want. If you're talking about using a box fan, people say you can, oh, man, this thing is going to be beautiful. Get a couple screws in it. See if it's going to work. If it don't work, I'll go back to work getting the wheel off and call Ranger. I don't think a box van is going to do it. I'd be real careful with that. Simply because it might set off the fire system. Well, you just have to be careful, that's all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. It's just you have to judge how much heat it really is. You know what I mean? You might have to go back. Like, box fan? You might have to go, yeah, with a box fan. I'm going to go back with one. Um, maybe one fryer instead of two. Right now, we don't know what you Once you get the first one, then they start to go.
como o quarterback que era o cara. Muitas distâncias. Give it a bump on. Never know, it might explode. Back in business. Back in business. I'm gonna pull this apart and clean it up and put it back together. What's that? Back in business. I'm gonna pull this apart and clean it up, line it all up good and put it back together. What'd you do? Grease the back. The back, the back bearing was seized up. So just got the old dried up grease out of there with some WD-40 and pack some new grease in the bearing. Spin it, clean it up, it do the same thing for the bottom one. Put it back, put the motor back together. So you had pulled, you had pulled it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, I pulled you the got back it back. Well, that's another way to get the shaft out. Yeah, is um, the shaft is attached to the motor, right. and the bearings are holding the motor in place. So if you pull the back cap off, now you can drive the shaft out. Oh, from here on this. Or, or I could have, you know, used a hammer. Right. Yeah, and, and knock the shaft out. You know what I mean? And then take the pieces over to Granger and say, "Hey, gotcha. give me one of these. That's actually working." But we're good. You'll be all right. Awesome. About 20 minutes, I'll pull it apart, put it back together, and we'll be all good. Super.